Do it for a home on any device, anytime, anywhere. Private property, a home for everyone. A warm welcome back to Winner Home on Afternoon Express on this Friday afternoon. Now, Private Property has treated us to some really fantastic property advice on Afternoon Express over this fourth season of Winner Home, and today is no exception. The Western Cape has some of the most beautiful scenery in the world, and property in the province is incredibly popular. Today, we have David Britz joining us in the loft, who is going to chat to us a little bit more about the property and estate market in the Western Cape. Welcome to the loft, David. Thank you, Dan. So let's quickly understand where the property market is in the Western Cape. I've had the privilege of living there and property is so expensive. Is it still profitable? Is it still an investment? Where are we at? Yeah, then definitely Cape Town is obviously uh, ex uh, one of the most expensive metropoles in South Africa. Uh, latest stats show that uh, property in Cape Town is on average 400,000 rand more expensive than any other metropole at the moment. Shh. So measuring at the price of 1.4 uh, million rand for average house, wow. right? Is, uh, there's, uh, there's a difference of 400,000 rand uh, between between yeah. Cape Town and any and of the other. And the next like, yeah. competitor. Yeah, so it's a very popular area, clearly. Yeah. So yeah. what does that mean for the property market? Is it a good investment, bad investment? Yeah, well, definitely. If you go look at the latest stats on, 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 on F&B, uh, they show over the last past five years, all right, Cape Town a property uh, grow by, I think it's 53.7%, all right, over the last five years. And the closest uh, metropole is Kwazulu Natal with 30.2%. So just and under like 20% yeah, yeah. higher growth yes. in the next metropole. Yeah, and Gauteng only come in in fourth place on 24.7%. So that gives, you, that gives you a good indication where Cape Town is uh, yeah. at the moment uh, versus the other metropoles. Yeah. Obviously there's a huge demand because it's a small surface area, one of the most beautiful places in the world. And it's not like Cape Town can go anywhere because either you grow into the sea or you grow into Table Mountain. I was driving through Camps Bay and I mean you mentioned how like um, sort of dense the area is. There was a, a piece of land that was not even bigger than like sort of a, a hectare or 10 hectares or something that was going for a billion South African rand from yes, the city of Cape Town. Yeah, yeah, that's five, actually five hectares that uh, the city of Cape Town sold for a billion rand. It was uh, recently in, a, in an article. Yes. So space is important, I think, for people. And that's maybe why um, you know, people are starting to look at properties that are expanding outside of just the Cape Town um, sort of city bowl area. Yeah, no, definitely. If you look at the uh, northern suburbs, especially you look at Val de Vie, I think Val de Vie, in my opinion, is one of the best estates in South Africa. Then you get uh, Anna Clara Fontaine recently launched by Rabi, also a very, mm -hmm. very nice estate. And then you get your middle class, I would say your middle upmarket class estates like the Satari Country mm -hmm. Estate uh, on your way to, to Somerset West. Acorn Creek, for instance, recently, recently launched by MSP. And then, uh, yeah, then you get your estates that uh, cater for your first time home buyers, mm -hmm. as well as your young and upcoming professionals. Yeah. But, um, there you will look at your Burgundy Estates, for instance. I think Burgundy Estate was launched in 2006. And Burain Estate launched in the, to the towards the end of 2010. Obviously, that is also doing very well. It's yeah. also very very, very uh, attractive to the investors, all right? Yeah. Because of your, or your ROI, the return on investment you get there, it is, it is, it's, I can't tell you the type of uh, yeah. growth they will get there, the demand for rent there, it's, it's yeah. So if, you, if you're serious about looking at the property market, and particularly in the Western Cape, you should be serious about looking into estates. And a lot of them are moving towards the Cape Winelands areas, first of all, because they're just incredibly stunning. And I think people are realizing, I'd rather drive a little bit further into work in town if I need to, as long as I can come home to a beautiful view in the afternoon and the evening to, to enjoy that lifestyle. Yeah, yeah definitely, yeah. I think the people is, uh, that a new trend in a lifestyle estate is, is, is that typical work, lift, play type of thing, yes. and then they, they after the, the lifestyle. But I think the biggest driver behind all these estates is security, mm. right? We all know we're still in South Africa, uh, so security is key for you and your family. As you drive further afield, I mean, you get to the beautiful garden route, Neisner, Mossel Bay, and everyone seems to be buying into that relaxed lifestyle out there. Yeah, then I think uh, Mossel Bay and George has always been a, a very popular holiday destination, especially for the valleys or the people up north. Mm -hmm. So yeah, they, they like to invest in the, the uh, estates like Fancourt. Fancourt recently came second in the top 10 golf, uh, golf estate uh, competition in South Africa, for, followed by uh, Pinnacle Point that came in at fifth prize. And then you get uh, the position Zulas, right? Some molas there. So there's a, yes, there's a there's a couple of nice estates in that in that area, and definitely a very very high in demand area is George and and, and obviously nice now. Yeah, so yeah. the Western Cape property market is doing well. Put your money into it, but put it into estates because that's going to continue definitely. to expand and grow. Definitely, yes. David, thank you. Thank you.
Well, there you have it, the lowdown on what's happening in the property market in the Western Cape. Now, don't forget to enter the Winner Home Grand Prize competition on private property to stand a chance to win your choice of the three multi-million rand homes as completed by our design duos on the Eye of Africa estate in Johannesburg. Now, this weekend is your last chance to enter as the competition closes at midnight this coming Sunday, the 29th of October. So don't wait another minute. Log on to private property co.za answer an easy question and then vote for your favorite design duo it's as easy as that and you could be the lucky viewer who wins their own dream home now coming up after the break the judges take a look around those lounges and make their final verdict